Hi, I'm Samir from FTC Team 4855, Batteries in Black. And today, I'm going to tell you how to install Android Studio on your Chromebook laptop. This process takes some time, as Chrome OS has a variety of security features that will have to be overridden before you can install Android Studio. Before we install Android Studio, however, we must first install Ubuntu, which will not replace your Chrome operating system. To do this, you will need some sort of an external drive, for example, a flash drive or an SD card. You will also need a stable internet connection for installing Crouton, Ubuntu, and Android Studio. If you have any files in your Chromebook, be sure to back them up, as this will clear all files in your Chromebook except for the operating system. The first step is to enable developer mode. The first thing that we have to do is enable developer mode on our Chromebook, which will disable some security features like OS verification that make installing software like Android Studio impossible. Please remember that this will wipe your hard drive, so remember that you remember that you have to back up your files first. The way to enter developer mode varies from device to device. Because of this, I will un be unable to show you how to boot into developer mode. Please find the model of your Chromebook and go to this website. And then click on the link of the Chromebook that that it matches the name of whatever Chromebook you have. Once you do that, you can read the steps for entering developer mode. Once you've entered developer mode, we need to install Ubuntu onto our computer so that we can run Android Studio. We will do this by using something called Crouton, which allows you to have Chrome OS and Ubuntu dual booted while still being able to access both operating systems very quickly and you can download Crouton at the following link. Crouton will then be downloaded. The next thing we need to do is open a terminal. You can do this by pressing Control alt t and then typing Shell. Now we need to install Ubuntu by running Crouton. So type sudo sh tilde slash downloads slash crouton. Don't run it quite yet. There's some settings we need to choose first. The first one is the desktop environment. You choose this by typing dash t, dash t in the name. If you don't know anything about desktop environments, I, requ I recommend just shooting, using Unity as it is the default desktop environment for Ubuntu. If you do know something about desktop environments though, you can choose between LXDE, XFCE, Enlightenment, KDE, GNOME, or like I've already said, Unity. Also, if you want to install some extra tools for your desktop environment, add dash desktop for the name. And finally, if you want to add touch support, add another dash T and then touch. The next thing we need to do is choose a version of Ubuntu to, to download. We're going to do this by running the Crouton executable with a dash R flag. And list. My mistake. It'll give us a list of recognized Ubuntu releases, along with some other ones. Right now we're focusing on Ubuntu. It goes from Warty Warthog to Vivid Vermit. The default is Precise Pangolin. We're going to be using Trusty Tar, as this is the recommended most recent version that is supported by Crouton. And we just add dash R Trusty, and then we're ready. Press Enter. Pause the video now, and once you're done, resume it. I cancel mine because I already have it installed, but once you have yours installed, just type sudo start unity, and this will start the unity desktop environment. The command might be slightly different for other desktop environments. Once you've done that, your screen will flash and it'll switch to Ubuntu. You might not be able to see that because my screen recorder is recording Chrome OS, but I can see the Ubuntu desktop now.
If I want to switch between the two, two desktop environments, I press Control Alt Shift forward and Control Alt Shift backward, back, and I can switch between the two. On other devices, it might be Control Alt back and then Control Alt forward followed by Control Alt re refresh. It varies from device to device, so you're just gonna want to try both. If you ever want to quit the desktop environment. Just go into Ubuntu and press log out and all the terminal stuff will be closed. Now to finish installing Android Studio, please watch our Android Studio Linux setup video in our in your new Ubuntu desktop environment. Thank you.